Hello, Pisces Power People. Welcome back to Pisces Power Tarot, a channel created by Pisces for Pisces of all placements, as well as cross watchers who care about a Pisces in their lives. Thank you, thank you, thank you all so much for being in this space. You are making it such a high vibe place to be, and I am forever grateful for that. We are creating something amazing here. If you have not subscribed to this channel, you are missing out, and I hope that you will subscribe absolutely free for you to do so and get all of the notifications for these juicy Pisces Power Tarot readings, right? Awesome. Okay, let's get started, shall we? I'm going to get started today using the Starseed Oracle. Uh, so shout out to all my Starseeds out there. If you identify as a star seed, this will likely speak to you. Um, so, yeah. And uh, I've had this deck for a little while, uh, but I'm just kind of familiarizing myself with it now. Um, it's just one that's kind of been calling to me recently. And so I am following my intuition, and I am going for it. We'll use this oracle deck to open up to see what energy or message spirit would like to bring to the collective. With that said, I want to welcome in the angels and the archangels who are responsible for this Piscean collective. So grateful for their guidance. So grateful for their presence. They have truly made a difference in my lives. On that note, if you all have any um, stories that you would like to share about the work of angels in your life, I'm just kind of feeling prompted to um, ask people to share their stories. Because um, I would really like to hear that, and I think it would be very encouraging for everyone in this space. All right, Spirit, what do we have here? Earthed. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. Oh, my Pisces people. I think this is something that we can all say um, that we relate to. Feeling kind of like we're not of this world. Do you know what I mean? I know I'm not the only one who feels that. Um, but it looks like there is a call here to become Earthed, to become grounded and to balance out the watery nature of our being, okay? Um, being earthed, being grounded can feel oh so good, right? Um, I think about emotions and the element of water and how sometimes things can feel very sloshy, you know what I mean? Um, so becoming grounded, becoming still, and being able to just soak into a place of stillness can be exactly what we need. It can be exactly what we need sometimes. Um, so with that said, I am going to read from the book, The Challenge for All Souls Having a Human experience is to be in the world but not of it to realize they are let me make sure i've got that that's upside down let's do it like this yeah yeah there we go uh, to realize they are souls having a human experience and be fully conscious of it to have their soul fully embody their body Whew. people's personalities tend to relate to either transcendence or eminence those who lean toward transcendence have a longing for the heavens and the metaphysical. They yearn for a personal experience with God and to be lost in the heavens. They're envious of the angels. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't make this up. I literally just said I felt prompted to talk about the angels and for us to share our stories. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Okay. They're envious of the angels and are more comfortable praying and hanging out in the stars than on earth. 
Those who tend toward eminence have attached themselves more to earth and their body. They spend more time thinking about things in this physical world rather than connecting with the heavens or their own mystical inner worlds. Being a fully embodied soul, having a human experience, means finding the balance between transcendence and eminence. Being in the world, but not of it. Most star seeds are drawn toward transcendence. They're more comfortable with the angels and the heavens. Y'all, y'all, oh my gosh, what can I like? Wow. Okay. Life on earth can be more difficult for them. If this is you, you're being reminded that you chose to be a soul in a body on earth and you're being called to focus more of your energies in the physical world to learn how to be human, a soul in a human body, fully present to what life on earth has to offer you. Starseed Soul Inquiry. Do you tend to long for the stars or be more in the physical? How can you find greater balance between the two? Mind blown. Mind blown. I, okay, so there's definitely something, there's definitely something to that. Being, being, I think we're being called to explore and study the angelic with this prompting. No doubt about it. With that said, we're going to get into the heaven <laughs> and earth tarot. And we're going to explore the five gates and see what wisdom the tarot can lend us when it comes to being earthed. Being earthed. Now, I don't know about you, but I have often said over the last several years, it has taken me, I'm 44 years old at the time of this video, it has taken me an entire lifetime to even begin to feel like I can be inside my body. Some of that is due to trauma, uh, but I think some of it is just like personality bent and being a Piscean uh, star sign or yeah, star sign. So uh, yeah, it's a dreamy mixture, isn't it, my Pisces people? <laughs> All right, Spirit, let's get started. In the area of touch, what do my Pisces people need to get their hands on? In the area of taste, what does this collective have a taste for? In the area of smelling, what is in the air for my Pisces people? In the area of hearing, Spirit, what do you want us to hear? What do you have to say to us? In the area of seeing, Spirit, what do you want us to see? In the area of touch, we start off with who but who else but the King of Cups, water energy starting off to bring a contrast or a balance to what initiated this reading, which is Earth. King of Cups. So the message of the King of Cups is emotional mastery, which is something that being earthed helps us do. When we're grounded, we find those places of emotional mastery. What I'm sensing right now is that spirit is calling those of you who are watching this video into a place, a greater level of emotional mastery. Okay. The King of Cups, he is in his power. He's not being sloshed around on the ocean, okay? He has the cup of water in his hands, and regardless of what the waves are doing, he's not going to spill his cup, okay? He is in control of his emotions. He is in a place of mastery. Now, here's what I'm feeling led to convey to you all. Perhaps some of you are in a place where you're feeling very defeated by your emotions. Perhaps you have some mental health things that you're working through and your emotions have just been a real booger to pin down. Okay, they've just been more of an enemy than a friend to you. And so you are looking for ways to become grounded 
to control your emotions rather than them controlling you. All right, Spirit, what's next? In the area of taste, we have the Hermit. So the Hermit is also a figure of mastery, a figure of enlightenment and wisdom, okay? The Hermit is a figure who knows their own soul. Now, what I want to say right there is, is... Once you go through the valley of navigating your emotional waters and you learn how to master your emotions and to understand them even, you come into a hermit-like energy, a hermit wisdom energy, okay? The hermit understands very deep, complex metaph metaphysical layers and that is certainly what emotions are. Emotions are very much layered, okay? Um, and so that is a hermit energy when you begin to understand the layers of emotions and spiritual complexities that are attached to those emotions. So that's what we have a taste for. In the area of smell, what's in the air? The princess of swords. So swords is like a mental energy. It's an air energy. Um, one thing that I always feel when I get this card is the princess is on a journey to her queenship. Okay. She's not in a place necessarily of maturity, but she's most certainly on her way, right? She is a court card who is kind of growing through the levels, okay? Because we know that's what the tarot is all about, right? The fool's journey or the hero's journey and how we go step by step through these layers, okay? So the princess is on her way to being a queen, uh, but she's not quite there yet. So this princess who's maturing, she is maturing in the midst of mental energy. Okay, she's maturing in the midst of mental energy. And what's interesting, since this is in the area of smell in the air, um, and the swords are an air energy. Okay, I feel like that's very pertinent. Maybe that will resonate with some of you. Next, in the area of hearing, Spirit, what do you want to tell us? What do you want us to hear? Six of cups. Six of cups. More water energy, more emotional energy, okay? I feel like uh, some of you are longing for simpler times when emotions were much simpler to understand. Think back to your childhood, for example. Um that sense of wonder over the little things, right? Uh, and then, you know, as we grow, things become more complicated. <laughs> Our feelings become more complicated. So I feel like some of you are just kind of like longing for simpler times. And the message from Spirit is this. Ground down, ground back into your childhood memories, those feelings of emotional simplicity, and allow yourself in that space to use that simple energy of the simpler emotions to help you navigate the complexities that you are facing right now. In the area of saying, Spirit, what do you want us to see? The chariot. So this is two major arcana cards in our reading right now. Okay, so this is speaking to a karmic point on your timeline. Whenever you find this reading, all these readings are timeless. Okay, uh, so chariot is fast moving energy. Okay. Perhaps you're in a space where you are feeling like the pressure is on uh, and that you need to move forward, but because of your emotions, you're feeling kind of stuck and there's like this bogged down energy you're having to wade through. Um, I'm being called to notice the black and white on this card, the black and white um, sphinxes. And so Spirit is saying not all issues, not all... Um, 
not everything is black and white, right? And you don't have to have things be black and white, right and wrong, you know, good or bad, all the simplistic, dualistic uh, ways in order for you to move forward. You can still move forward and do so swiftly without having to understand every single thing as either black or white, good or bad, right or wrong, okay? Life is large and oftentimes operates outside of the bounds of those things, okay? All right, now I am going to pull a Moonology card as we are getting ready to wrap this reading up. Don't forget, I am going to pull some charms for us. I've added those to the readings. They are so much fun, y'all. I'm really enjoying the charms and the initial charms. Those are fun. And they just really help us anchor into the message, especially when we're finding a resonance in the message. Uh, if you have not subscribed, I hope that you will do so. I want you to be a part of this amazing community. And if you would ever like a personalized reading, you can reach me at PiscesPowerReadings at gmail.com. That's PiscesPowerReadings at gmail.com. I love connecting with you all in those personal readings. I just enjoy so much getting to feel your energy and getting to experience the excitement of the readings with you. Um, that is a very enjoyable thing. Love delivering those personalized messages. Spirit, what do we have here? Hold your vision. Fixed moon. Fixed, right? Earthed, grounded. Um, so here's what I'm here's what I'm picking up on with this. Hold your vision. When everything else is sloshing around you, right? You're in the waves of emotion. Hold your vision. Hold your vision. It's so important. This is a very important message for you right now. Um, I feel like some of you may feel like you're on the brink of letting go of the vision because of how you're feeling. Or maybe because of how others are feeling about your vision. But Spirit is saying to you, this is a time for you to be in a fixed, grounded earthed energy. It is a time for you to be in your body with certainty, okay? Because there is a point ahead of you that you are heading toward. And in order to get to that place, in order to move forward, um, you're going to have to hold your vision. Keep it ever in front of you so it can inspire you into that forward movement. Okay, now let's go ahead and get some charms. I'm going to get some of these charms and then I'll do these initial charms right here. Uh, so that way it will, it can help you identify with any um, energies that you are currently working with, uh, people that you're working with in your life. Um, but yeah, I just love how these uh, charms help us anchor into the message. So I'm just going to just gonna swish those around. Throw a few there, swish these around, throw a few there. Okay, so what do we have here? Ha! We have a skull in a skull and crossbones. So I'm actually hearing beware of toxic energy. Now, people who don't have emotional mastery can sometimes come off as very toxic, right? They are not grounding themselves. And because of that, they're sending um, electric shockwaves, so to speak, into their energetic field and it affects everyone around them. Okay. So Spirit is saying, be wary of those people who have not mastered their emotional energy, um, especially if you're an empath, because you don't want that energy affecting your own when you yourself are trying to master your own emotional energy. Now, the next one we have is a wolf that is howling. A wolf that is howling. Um, 
So there's two messages I'm getting here. Number one, beware of wolves in sheep's clothing. That's a very specific message. That's really all that I'm getting. I don't really know what else that could be about, but I do sense that that sentence, that statement coming up in my spirit for you guys. The next thing is to let out your wild side. Okay, be ready to howl at the moon and to give yourself release if it means that you can get back grounded into your body. Next, we have this cute little spider, okay? Um, spiders have the ability to make a home wherever they go, okay? And so they have this sense and this space of being fixed, okay? Uh, they can fix a home no matter where they're at. And I think that's something that you could benefit from is just being able to um, make your home where you are, whether that's your body, whether that's an apartment, whether it's a house, whether it's on, at your favorite vacation spot, just know that you have the ability to do that. Next, we have a crescent moon, crescent moon, okay? Uh, perhaps some of you are navigating some moon cycles and feeling the tides and the waves of emotions because of that. We have this chandelier. Uh, so let there be light. Light is being shed on the subjects that are of interest to you. We have a mustache. <laughs> so this takes me back to this King of Cups energy right here, actually. This masculine mastery. Uh, perhaps some of you identify as a masculine energy or you're really into your masculine energy right now and uh, just kind of looking to get grounded in that energy. Now, the initials that we have. We have the initial F. Okay, maybe you're dealing with someone with that initial. Maybe that's your initial. We have the initial H. We have the initial U. Okay. O. And what is our last initial to close out? Another O. Okay. Very interesting that there are two O's here. Maybe there's a name some of you or someone that you're dealing with has a name that has two O's in it. Um, if so, just know that this message could be for you. All right. I appreciate you all so much for being here. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you will. I hope you'll hit that like button as well. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out, Pisces.